Hello, hello, fellow artists. It's Maddie Azar with Spectrum Art Creations for Graphic 45 Brand Ambassador Design Team. Today we're going to be working with the Mother Goose Brag Book and Bookcase Kit. The kit includes a full set of instructions, illustrated of course. It includes metal corners, tags, the full Mother Goose Deluxe Collection including chipboard and stickers, but we are only going to be using the base from this kit today. The base kit includes pre-cut pieces that we'll be using today. Now in addition to the tutorial that you will be watching today, there is also the original Graphic 45 Mother Goose Brag Book and Bookcase tutorial also available, so I'll be linking them down below. The first thing we want to do is sort out our pieces. Some of them actually look very much alike but are slightly bigger or smaller. So we're going to sort them out by sizes, ensuring that we have perfect matches. For today's project, I will be using Le Romantique collection from Graphic 45. Very romantic, very vintage, very elegant. The Deluxe Collector's Edition for this paper line also includes the chipboard, both of the stickers, as well as two of each of the 12x12s. Don't forget to use your Graphic 45 covers. They have lots of great extras, and if you flip them over, they also include templates. This beautiful collection is not only romantic and vintage, but it includes great colors such as pinks and peaches, blues, greens, lots of cream, and of course, black, which lends it a very regal, elegant look. We are going to start working on putting our base together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna gather two of the following pieces. The first one's going to be the backboard, and that's the one that has the circle at the top. We're gonna to glue that down, and we're gonna burnish it really well with our bone folder. Next, we're going to gather two pieces that will measure five by five and three eighths and we'll glue those down together and once again repeat the process. And finally, we will grab two more pieces that measure one and a half by five and three eighths. As I got ready to proceed, I realized that it'd probably be easiest if I actually letter these for us, and then that way we can all know what pieces we're working with. It'll just make this that much easier to follow along with. So we've already done two of A, and we've glued those together. We've already done two Bs, those are the five by five and three eighths, and we've glued those together. We glued together two of C. So I want you to label these the same way that I have them, right? And that is the one and a half by five and three eighths. Next, we're gonna find two of these panels that are four and a half by six and a half, and we're gonna label them as letter D. Okay, both of those. Then if you guys remember, we had all of these pieces in our kit. Two of them are slightly larger as you can see okay so we're going to take those two larger ones and we're going to label them e and f okay then we'll have four of the smaller ones the smaller ones we're going to label two of them g and two of them h then we're going to have one of the spines and those are one by six and a half we're going to label that as i then we're going to do little packets for J and K. Oh, focus. There we go. So J and K are both going to be the same. They're going to consist of two of the 
uh, book panels, right? These are the ones that are four and a half by six and a half. And one of the spines, again, the one by six and a half. So those three pieces will make up J. And then the same thing for K. Those same three pieces is going to make up K. This should make it that much easier for us to be able to flow through putting it together, um, having letters along the way so you guys can see exactly which parts um, I'm working with, which pieces. Next, we'll be using the Graphic 45 chipboard sheets. We're going to use this in order to stabilize our background, make it stronger, plus make it one solid piece. Next, we will pick papers from our gorgeous paper line to mat our pieces. You can either use the same paper or you can mix and match them for some added interest. Now keep in mind that we will need to retrim our matting papers because once we actually start putting the project together, we're going to need to make adjustments here and there.
Next, using our Graphic 45 chipboard, we're going to cut the bottom base for our project. Now, your measurements might differ a little bit, um, but I'll give you my measurements again, because we are hand cutting a lot of the pieces. You might have an eighth of an inch, uh, or maybe um, you know a quarter of an inch difference, but my piece is going to be four and seven eighths by nine and 13 sixteenths. In order to make our base even sturdier, I will be cutting two more, two additional pieces for a total of three. This will make our base sturdier along with adding our graphic 45 paper. Next, using black cardstock, I have cut some L brackets. You can cut them to length, or the easiest way to do this is to simply cut one inch strips, score them at half an inch, and then cut them to fit as you need them. In order to help our project blend seamlessly, we are going to be using black paint around the edges. Of course, if you are going for a different look or if you're looking for maybe something to match um, the papers that you've chosen, you could use whatever color is your preference. With our base pieces all painted and our mats all cut out, I am simply putting them all back together using some clips uh, so that I have them matched when I am ready to adhere them. When it comes time to glue our backboard and our bottom piece together, I highly recommend a very strong, quick drying glue. Remembering that this is only a temporary hold since we will be actually adding L brackets to strengthen the structure. Here you can see that I'm going all around adding L brackets to the back board pieces, to the bottom, anywhere that they basically join together. Our centerpiece has also been braced together. We have created the centerpiece by using pieces E, F, and B.
So in the beginning, we had cut our papers um, roughly, right? We had traced them and cut them roughly. We knew that we were going to have to adjust because obviously we are going to be um, using our papers on the inside of these panels and therefore they are going to be a little too big so just a little bit of adjusting here and there and then a little bit of cutting so for example the back one i will cut into or i've already cut excuse me into the panels that i needed so i've cut for example this top piece right here and again see i might have to adjust it a bit to fit there then the bottom piece um it's here somewhere here let me put it this way it might be easier to see um then i've grabbed the bottom here i believe this is this one and that's going to slide in there the other half of that one is this right here so that's going to go back there um i probably should have adhered it beforehand that would have been easier but you know again I'm going to have to adjust these just a smidge. See how it's a little too tight? So I will just be taking my scissors or my cutters and just kind of trimming them up a bit like so. And they'll slide right in. I'll be able to adhere those, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I'm going to do next is to glue down all of our panels and but we've got our base done right you'll notice that actually i made the mistake of gluing one of the panels this one is fine on the outside or was fine um prior to adhering this hinge right here um or not a hinge just um what should i call those i guess they're hinges but they're not actually hinging anything they're more like l brackets there you go they're l brackets so um prior to doing that I um, I had done this one too, so I'm going to have to recut this panel, or I think I already did recut that panel. So I will be double layering. It's somewhere in here. It's somewhere in here. I have to go through my panels and see what is what. It's probably one of these. So again, it's just a matter of going around and finding our panels as to where they go layering them up it's probably one of these two yep that's that one see so I will have to oops that's this one I'll have to re-adhere that one and so that one's going to have a double paper but we'll never be able to see that right um so if you make a boo-boo my point was don't panic because if you forget something you can always just recut a panel and put it back on there and rehide that okay um, remember it's paper so paper is very forgiving we can always trim it we can always um, recover it we can you know create a different one um, to match as well if you run out of pages remember all of these papers coordinate beautifully so mixing and matching them is actually lovely in this collection well let's continue on Our next step is to work on our faux drawer. To do this, we're going to find the piece that has the letter C. We're going to be cutting mats for it, distressing it, adhering it, and also using gorgeous Graphic 45 metal drawer pulls.
By finding the center of the piece, I can gauge the distance between the two holes to ensure that I get my handle centered. A great way to dress up your project and hide any imperfections is using the included stickers. This happened to be a butterfly border sticker that was included. Next, we're going to find the piece with the letter I, and we're going to cut two pieces, one for the left book holder and one for the right book holder. Using our scraps, we will create mats for these pieces. I've also gone around and painted the edges black, and of course, we're going to distress them, we're going to adhere them, and most importantly, we're gonna add a special touch with some coordinating metal pieces. And now we are ready to adhere our back panel. By leaving this for last, it helps us to hide the metal prongs that hold the metal pieces in place. Our base is finally done, and now we are ready to start on the brag books. The original Graphic 45 video, which I've linked down in the description box, has a fantastic step-by-step -step with measurements tutorial on how to actually put together the brag books. Rather than duplicating the process by talking you through it as Graphic 45 did, I am going to simply put the measurements on screen. If you need to refer back to that video, again, remember, it is always available down in the description box.
So we have finished using the parts that were included in the Graphic 45 kit. Now, we didn't even finish using all of the parts because remember, we still have all of the paper line, we still have the chipboard, the stickers, and even some additional pieces that I didn't use. For example, we still have the two sides with the star cutouts, which we could have used to actually expand or extend this even further. In my case, I'm gonna save them for a future project, but what we have so far is a great organizer, whether you're going to be using it for um, a stationary set, maybe for envelopes and papers, um, as well as for some journaling um, books, or uh, maybe some sticky notes, correct? Or you could actually subdivide this and use this for art supplies, such as pencils, pens, um, et cetera, you know, and then have these as well. Maybe use these for journaling your ideas. Um, whenever those inspiration hits, you can actually use these to jot down your notes. Uh, however, I've decided that I'm gonna be using mine as a gift. So whether it is for a family or an anniversary, or perhaps maybe someone who just got married, it would be great to actually use them as photo albums and then be able to um, collect the cards as keepsakes, you know, all the greeting cards that you received in the mail from your aunts and your cousins and your best friends uh, and college roommates. Uh, and then, of course, to actually be able to add more photos here as well. So I am going to now be adding um, even more items and taking this up to the next level. But so far, by just using the kit, we've been able to create this wonderful um you know, little tray and bookcase, uh, keepsake stationery um, supply. And actually, you know what? I'm sure we could fit quite a few art supplies. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see, maybe something like this, or maybe we could have done ink pads. Let's see how many we can fit. Oh yeah, see, those fit so nicely. So we could do, how many can we fit? Well, and maybe some vintage ones. Oh, very, very nice. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. So you could also use it for um, art supplies. A great way to have them near um, handy at your desk um, and still be able to make your um, art area look really, really pretty. Um, so again, the theme um, that I've decided to use or the paper line I decided to use uh, you're not limited by that because remember graphic 45 has beautiful paper lines in all shapes, size, colors, whether it's steampunk or Wizard of Oz or Halloween or Christmas, this would be great as a Christmas gift. So now that we've gotten the base done, we are going to take this up yet another notch and we are going to continue by actually, um, adding some more pieces to it and finish decorating it. Because again, we still have the rest of the paper line to work with. Our next step is going to be to do two more of the books. The only difference is going to be that they're going to be narrower. So the spine is going to be only three quarters of an inch wide. Next, we will work on our bottom drawer brag book. You're going to need two pieces. One will be the spine, which is one by five and one eighths, and then two pieces that are going to be five and a half by five and a half. We will follow the exact same steps as we've done for all of the other brag books. Because of our measurements, we're gonna have a very thin, slim um, amount of paper to actually adhere on both the left and the right side of our brag book. In order to fix that, what we're going to do is use the exact same paper scraps and create two additional flaps, um, which is going to give us some width uh, so that when we actually adhere our cover panel, we will not be able to see the difference.
And now we will turn this brag book into a drawer, just like we did at the top so that it actually matches the faux drawer. Our goal is going to be to get top and bottom to match, just like we got left and right to match. Next, we're going to use our Graphic 45 Folder and Sentiments die set. For this project, we're going to be using only the folder die. We are going to be using it as an index tab. Therefore, we're only going to be using the top and we're only going to be making it five inches. Now you have two ways that you can do this. You can either cut your paper smaller like I did and line it up, or you can cut your index tabs regular size and then cut them down with your trimmer. Using the same die, we've cut the bases as well as the mats. In my case, the fronts are gonna be matted, the backs will be black. However, you could choose to mat both sides. I've made an accordion base by cutting my paper five inches wide and scoring at every inch. If you're interested in finding out how to make this accordion base, please leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to do a follow-up video for you. And now it is time to fill the inside of our brag books. I will tell you that I followed the exact instructions from Graphic 45. This video, I wanted it to be more about taking it up to the next level and changing up that base kit. Uh, so again, all the measurements, all the scoring, all of that is available in the Graphic 45 video that I have linked down below. You will notice that I ended up using black mats for the inside. This will give me uh, an opportunity to go back and at my leisure be able to decorate the books because there's so much beautiful ephemera and journaling cards in this collection. I want to be able to take my time and work on flips and pockets and secret tuck spots. So this is something that I will take one book at a time. We've made a total of five brag books for this project. And of course, we want to take our time and personalize every single one of them. So if you are like me and you'd like to come back at a later time, one book at a time and decorate them, you can glue down your signature mats. Or perhaps you might be thinking of leaving it blank because you are going to give it as a gift and you would like the recipient to be able to fill it as they wish. To decorate our back, we are going to be using the Graphic 45 Square Tag and Clock Die Set. It is a beautiful set with a very ornate circle frame. We will be using one of the chipboard pieces included in this beautiful collection, as well as the leftover remaining circle from when we did our die cutting. This will act as a base for our chipboard piece as well as our ornate frame. And here we have the completed project. What fun this has been. Gorgeous collection to work with. Gorgeous kit as a base to work with as well. Um, we've got plenty of photo albums, including one on the bottom. We've got a tray with the index cards, which is fully um, removable. So you can still have that as um, another um, something else if you should decide later on. Uh, and then of course, we still have plenty of paper. We still have lots of ephemera. We have um, uh, 
even additional pieces that came originally with the kit like metal corners and oh my goodness tags so we have lots of stuff to still work with we hope you guys have enjoyed it we hope you guys will definitely give it a try um, and we want to thank you so much please be sure to leave a comment down below and if you haven't already done so be sure to go ahead and give us a thumbs up we would greatly appreciate it as well as be sure to leave a comment let us know is this something that you guys would like to try what do you think about the collection would you try it with a different collection what different twists would you put on it is there something that you would like to see done more specifically and as i mentioned we still have plenty of um, chipboard stickers uh, oh my goodness so much gorgeous ephemera uh, and journaling cards that come with the collections and the papers so we have plenty to come back and even decorate um, our albums and all kinds of other stuff and make some tucks some flips some pockets um, all kinds of photo opportunities as well matting for the uh, photos so once again we so appreciate you joining us today. We hope that you guys have crafted along or you've been inspired, hopefully, to create something today. Thank you so much for joining us.